This is an article from the Reformed Presbyterian entitled, The Bible in Spain. For a few years past, the British and Farm Bible Society employed laudable efforts to circulate the scriptures in Spain, a kingdom the inhabitants of which are more degraded than any other of those in Europe. The grand cause of their degradation has been and is the blighting influence of popery, exercised with lamentable success, as in other ways, so in keeping the word of God out of the hands of the people, one of the chief means by which the man of sin has for ages retained his power. From the first, the efforts made to distribute the Bible in Spain were resisted by the Romish priests, and their opposition has lately proved successful, the agent of the society having been prohibited from introducing copies for distribution. He has published an appeal to the inhabitants of the country which we think must claim attention and be productive of good, if God is any good in reserve for that sinful, benighted, and idolatrous people. For ages the voice of Protestantism has not there been lifted in tones so distinct and fearless. The agent closes his appeal by inviting serious attention to the two following facts. Number one, for two centuries past, the system that arrogates to itself the right to grant or refuse permission to, re to read or print the holy word of the creator and judge of all men has ruled in such a way in Spain that up to the year 1836 there had been printed only 17,000 copies of the Bible, and even those altered, which were sold at the enormous price of from $50 to $80 for a copy. It is in this way that the party has succeeded in keeping the nation profoundly ignorant in regard to its dearest interests, both political and religious, while during the same period we have seen it lavishing millions and millions to maintain and extend its own power, both in Spain and elsewhere, at the expense of the happiness, the property, and the blood of incalculable numbers of men of all ages and every rank. And we see now, in proof of what I assert in respect to Spain, a constantly increasing number of monks, curates, canons, and bishops, who, at this very moment, follow in the train of the pretender, moistening their country's soil with the blood of their fellow citizens, and committing upon the young and the aged of both sexes atrocities as numerous as they are horrible. Incredible. Number two. This second fact is that, in the short space of three years, the Bible Society of London, a society organized by individuals in their private capacity and sustained entirely by voluntary subscriptions and donations, has procured to be printed more than one hundred has procured to be printed in more than one hundred and sixty languages and to be distributed throughout the known world nearly eleven million copies of the Holy Scriptures. And this at price is not only exceeding the expense of publication, but vastly below it. This society asks permission to employ $30,000 a year in Spain, until every family shall possess an unaltered copy of the Book of Life and Light. It may be asserted, therefore, that the system which opposes the accomplishment of a wish so philanthropic can originate only in ignorance or hypocrisy. Its fruits must always be the most stubborn, and violent hatred to all free institutions and cruelty to all who shall refuse to become its partisans and admirers. In a system that can maintain itself only by means of despotism, of the Inquisition, and the rack, and therefore it had never sought for other support. A darkness is its argument and its refuge. It abhors the Holy Word of God, because always in evident opposition to it, and because its works are always evil. Nor is it strange that there sh that it should be so that nor is it strange that it should be so, since from the beginning of the world men have never never gathered grapes of thorns or figs of thistles. Come out, therefore, come out without delay from this Babylon, that ye would not receive of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities.